it's Joe Gas here, and today I'm going to be telling you guys how to get themes for your Mac, and now this also goes for the Leopard 10.5 operating system OS X, so this is not the um, same as the other one that only worked for Tiger and, and the older versions. This is something that works now. And I have a theme on right now. If you look, it's black when I go over to this. When I launch Safari, um, as you may notice, the, the shine is gone from right here. And this scroll is like that. Um, you know, everything is different. Like, it's really nice. I really think this is a good theme. Let me just exit out of this. So, let's get started. I'll have the download link for this in the description. It's called Magnificu. Magnificu. I don't know how to say that, but if we just launch it, this is how it looks. Alright, so this is it. It's really nice. Look, it's got a really nice interface. Um, it's a free program, and as you guys may also notice, I got system preferences back. My friend, uh, was, uh, nice enough to send me the file, uh, through iChat, and I got to download it again, so that was really good. So anyway, now we can get themes, third-party themes online, if you just type in Magnificu themes, uh, you can download them and drag them into right here. But these are the themes available on their website, and let's just go and find a theme. If we click on it, it'll give us a preview of what it would look like. I'm just going to look for a really cool theme. Let's see if I could find a good one. Okay, so I found a really cool theme. It's called Olivia Magnet. I'm just going to click that and click Download Now. Okay, and this is my theme. It looks really nice. It's going to ask for your password a bunch of times um, because it's changing the interface, so it's a pretty big change. So that's why I was asking for the password. It's not going to take too long, and when it's done, you're just going to press OK and click right here on My Themes. Now, you could view full preview, and it'll open up of everything that changes and what everything looks like. This is really nice. So, I'm going to click Apply Now. And I'm going to check mark everything that's available. For this theme, the only thing that is is Apply System Window Theme. So I'm going to click Apply Theme. And it's just going to load up. Okay, so now it's applied. And what we have to do now is Restart Finder and Restart Dock. And now what we have to do is quit everything that's running in order for it to take place and now I'm just gonna restart restart okay this looks the same but if we go on our finder you may notice it looks different. There's blue right here. The scroll is like a little laser beam, which I think is really nice looking. If we go on Safari. You know, you have this as the loading. The blue, this is going to be the close for everything. And the laser beam as, that, as your thing. Oh, and it changed. It ended up loading. And when you go over here, it's blue, and the selection is blue. Same for the finder, which actually isn't really finished loading yet. I meant to say spotlight, I'm sorry. And I think QuickTime has a new feature, too. So this is how you apply themes on your Mac. And the drop-down menu, so if we go over here, let's see something that has a lot of drop-downs. Well, if we go back and go to our appearance, these look, it, I like the way it looks. It's sort of like 
um, edged out really nice. So yeah, this is how you add um, themes to your Mac. If you want to get rid of the theme and go back to your old default settings, um, just click uninstall the theme. It's 10.30. And once you do that, it'll say none right here. And just restart Finder, restart Doc. And it'll eventually load up if we put Safari. You may notice that everything is back to normal with the glare, the blue right here. Everything is looking good, guys. All right. So that's how you do it. You could show in Finder to look at the themes. You could permanently delete them from your computer that way. So this is how you um, get themes for your Mac. OS X 10.5 Leopard. And it's really, really cool. You could even develop your own theme, which is something I really like. You could rename them. This is a great application. In my opinion, it deserves to be... Uh, maybe five. It deserves to be a costed app, but they were nice enough to make it free. The link's in the description, and I hope you have a lot of fun with this, guys. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a nice day.